hey, listener, what are you up to on Saturday, August the 6th? Because uh, we're going to be doing our next live show, Spelljammer Misadventures in Space. We're on at 3 p.m. at the Comedy Republic in Melbourne. So come on down. Even if you've already got plans, ditch them. If you're interstate or overseas, get over here. Come and check us out because we have early access to the Wizards of the Coast Spelljammer campaign setting, which isn't even released yet. Uh, It's a super fun setting and we have been having all sorts of stupid fun in it. We'll be joined by special guest Scout Boxall. Uh, They're a hilarious Melbourne comedian, writer and performer with a deep passion for LARPing and F1 racing. So they are going to fit right in. You can get your tickets at dicepaperroll.com or just follow us on our socials at dicepaperroll for all the info that you need. This episode is the final show of our recent comedy festival run uh, featuring special guest Patrick Collins and DM'd once again by Dan Last as we attempt to infiltrate the British Museum. Enjoy the show and uh, we'll see you soon. Ladies and gents and non-binary friends, before we begin today, we would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet, the Bunurong and the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and extend our respects to any First Nations people who are in the audience today. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. And now, Motley Bauhaus, are you ready for a D&D show? Put your hands together and make some noise for the cast of Dice Paper Roll. We have today's Dungeon Master, Dan Last, Greg Pickering, keep that round of applause going. We've got Jack Crosby, Lauren Bock, our very special guest, Patrick Collins. Hey, keep making some noise. We've got to pay our tech. Emil Freund is coming to the stage. And last but not least, me, Ben Clemens. You have to keep clapping until we're all sitting down. Make some noise. Put your hands together. I can see you. You're not clapping. Put your hands together. Is this a show? Where? It's not Zoom anymore, people. Make some noise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm barely sitting down. <laughs> Lauren likes applause. So more, 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 more. more. Here That's he comes. Emil. He's coming down now. Friends, Emil, as he comes to the stage. Oh, yeah, Lauren. Right. Lauren, Lauren, that's right. Are you listen to this, Lauren? So today, Lauren will be playing a milkmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the most out of that one. <laughs> All right, everybody. Of the bedroom this time. Isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out for our very, very last show of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. We hope you're pumped. Now, if you've never been to a dice paper roll show before, <laughs> it will be news to you that you play a very important part in the show today because you make us feel good. Yeah, okay. and uh, with rounds of applause, obviously. But we get you to uh, build a bit of atmosphere. You are our Foley uh, technicians. You are our soundboard. So throughout the show, uh, Dan might be describing a particular setting or an atmosphere, and you might think, hey, I, I've got a pretty sick forest sound effect. Uh, I, can, I can blow a mean wind. Feel free <laughs> to just start. Yeah, don't, don't hold back. From your back. mouth. There's... It might be, sp- yes, from your mouth, preferably. Um, now, we don't just throw you straight into it. We will get you to do a, a little practice. So, look, why don't we start nice and easy with that said wind? A, a nice gentle breeze flowing through a forest. Uh, maybe the wind picks up. A, a tree branch snaps. It hits a gnome on the ground underneath. <laughs> He dies, one of his friends laughs. Yeah. Yes. Jeremy! <laughs> That's pretty good. Taking his boots. Uh, Dan, you're, uh, you're our DM. Do you have, oh, as you take a sip of beer, do you, do you have a sound effect that you would like to hear from these wonderful people? Uh, and everyone else as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let, let's just do the, the old classic one, uh, the old uh, marketplace. Mm. 
Rabble, 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 rabble. Oh my god, it's a bunch of babies. It's some strategy, clinking of glasses. It's too expensive. There must be more than Like a little bit of murmuring. Gentle massage is available. It's oh. really ineffective. Greg, are you, yeah. are you running the rub and tug in our... Um... I am. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought that was obvious. Yes, Someone uh, has to. Greg will be so. at the merch stand later on for anyone interested at all. How old are you in the front row? I know, oh. I know that as well. <laughs> so glad you're here. <laughs> that rub and tug joke was so well done. <laughs> Oh, no. It's when you rub someone's back and pluck the hairs out. That's yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe to finish it off, uh, let's oh, have... No. Um, no, you got one? Oh, no, I don't. Go on. Um, oh, well, if you could do the sound of uh, an aeroplane uh, passing through... Um, oh, Brunswick. No. A fantasy, a fantasy airplane. Passing yeah. through yeah. Brunswick. Yes. Uh, like a a one oh, this coffee is real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That was great, Jack. Thank Can you. I show you my record collection? <laughs> <laughs> Got some great vinyl. <laughs> and finally, uh, let's go for one last sound of it. The sound of a really pumped up audience. Ready for a D&D show? <laughs> all right, all right. Wow, it's like I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love fantasy. It's great. <laughs> to live out all my dreams. <laughs> All right, over to our illustrious dungeon master, Daniel Lars. Yeah, I've been really struggling with this setup at the minute. I'm like, this microphone stand's right? not working. I'm, oh. feeling, I'm feeling a little bit crowded. Do in, you need but... a different one? Maybe no. I can just hold the microphone in front of yes, you the whole Yes, if show. everyone could just hold on for about like <laughs> 15, 20 minutes while we do another setup. Uh, no, instead, let's play some Dungeons and Fucking All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mountains of treasure surrounds you as you stand in the ancient burial chamber of the Forgotten Emperor's tomb. Yeah, I just don't remember his name, eh? The Forgotten <laughs> Emperor. <laughs> Jim. He's pretty forgettable. Uh, he's these one-syllable white boy names. Uh, <laughs> right, Ben? Uh. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what Dan, you mean, Lauren. Hey, Greg. Dan. <laughs> Jack. Uh, Is that Jack or Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Greg. Uh, the Forgotten Emperor, Jim. He, he's uh, all wrapped up in bandages to mask his decaying face. He's a mummy. Um, oh. And he turns to you and he looks at you and he says, They have stolen the golden ank. The ank is a powerful treasure that belongs in this land. It is the key of life, and it must be returned. Uh, please, you must commit the most daring and convoluted heist imaginable. Uh -huh. I'm listening. At the headquarters of the Thieves Guild. Ooh, the Thieves Guild. The British Museum. Yes. Oh. Nice to, get, nice to get a good bit of exposition at the start, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you must go there and retrieve it for me and bring it back if you wouldn't mind. That'd be nice. Um, so who are you again? I'm Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim. Jim got an emperor. Jim's mowing. Jim's <laughs> robbery. Got a couple of... Oh, side oh, hustle. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Well, you know, I've been buried here for like 500 Did years. Did you pivot get, during get the pandemic stuff. or in the... I'm not talking about this one, I'm talking about, you know, the plague thousands of years ago. Oh, yeah. the bubonic one. Yeah, yes. the, the locust yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The locust one. Yeah. See, see, I thought you might have been doing a whole, like, Jim's Pyramid schemes thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm still a bit confused as to how you actually... There's much to mow in all these sand dunes <laughs> in the desert here, you know? It's, um... Yeah, it's an up-and-coming business. What, what are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> it rains? There's oasises? Yes, you... Uh, Sigh? Oasis. Uh, Oasis. Oasis? Oasis? Maybe. Anyways, um, and so Jim, with a wave of his arms, he draws a circle and crackling blue electricity frames. Drawing, 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 drawing. Oh, I don't know. you do magic, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I you started thinking, of, I started thinking of lightsabers and then, anyways. Um, he waves his arms and he creates this portal in front of you and you step through and it takes you to the docks where you board a ship. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh no, it's leaving. I think, I think a camel stubbed its toe. <laughs> 
Which one? And, Do they have toes? And Never so mind. that ship, that ship takes you to an ocean liner. <gasps> ah. Which would have... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got camels on the ocean liner too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real Noah's Ark situation. <laughs> and then that ocean liner takes you to a small airplane. I thought it'd be another ship. Oh, and okay. then, right, yeah. and oh, then a airship. map. A map starts to overlay. Starts to overlay. It doesn't. I'm so glad we were all on the same page. No idea. It's Superman. So yeah, so a map begins to overlay and there's a red dot and then a red line shoots out of it as the airplane takes you to an even bigger airplane. <laughs> and then a, a kind of an opening credits uh, montage starts to occur over the map uh, overlay. <laughs> was, that, was that the Muppets? It was. <laughs> hey, why uh, did you feel the need to make the Muppets sound? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so. uh, for the benefit of the podcast, what? the person in the front row has just gestured generally to the assembled performance. Yeah, yeah. all right, fucking Stadler and Waldorf here. Fucking yeah. all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so there's an opening credits montage as we see uh, Brackeye and Flo as they jump over some crocodiles. Ah, oh, quick! It's got sharp teeth. Oh, look, don't look it in the eyes and don't let it smile at you. <laughs> Uh, Flo, who is a dragon-born uh, barbarian who wears like a, a like an armor suit onesie thing, very much like Beyonce at the Super Bowl, like that, you know, but it's a bit very armored and has a ma massive maul uh, with that sort of rainbow like kind of runes all etched through it, sort of glows purple, uh, jumps and freezes midair over the crocodiles and then looks down and goes, oh, I think that one is my cousin, actually. <laughs> and then goes... Away, <laughs> and it's Brackeye's turn. Yeah, yeah. Bra Brackeye is a seven-foot tall Goliath man. He's uh, his skin looks like it's wrought from pure stone, but it's not. He's very sensitive. Um, he's covered in carvings like tattoos, and sometimes they glow, sometimes they don't. You're not sure why. Neither's he. He's going to see a doctor about it. That's Brackeye. All oh, right. He's also he's got a lichen uh, green electric green mohawk and a. Um, Moss stash as well. So, let's put that in there. It's getting one out early. Good. We've got to do it. Right. <laughs> yes. You're in for a treat. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Exactly. That happens. It freeze frames as you jump over it. You. It was, I actually wrote that down, Lauren. Uh, very good. Well done. <laughs> Thank Gold you. So connection. We finish each other's sentences. <laughs> <laughs> D and D notes. Um, Yes, and so then, uh, so there was the freeze grab as you jump over, and then it continues on, and then we see uh, Snatch drowning in quicksand while Louise and Alan stand by the side trying to help him. Could you guys uh, give a bit of a character description? Uh, no, this will not do. Oh dear, uh, that's uh, Louise. Uh, Louise is a um, is a fish woman and is is a. Uh, yeah. For the benefit of the podcast, he puts on the colander. Yeah. Is that a known uh, thing that just happened? Ah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. oh, yes, finally, what we've been waiting for. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Um, <laughs> the uh, the fish woman is uh, about six foot tall. She's a fish, so she's outward facing eyes, and she has periscopes inside of the dump dump no diving bell diving bell. Thank you, uh, so that she can have periscopic peri. No, binocular vision, um, and both of those things. Yes, yeah. and she is bipedal, so she has legs. She's also like all uh, fish women. Yes, obviously. Alan stands on the other side of the the pool of quicksand, uh, legs uh, akimbo, uh, his robe <laughs> floating up in a non-existent breeze. It's just, it's actually a magical effect that he's permanently cast on himself <laughs> to reveal long, skinny white boy legs, uh, which uh, are very hairy, um, a little bit of stubble. Um, he's thin. He's very good looking. He's got long blonde hair, uh, and he, as as the the wind blows up around him, he smiles with a perfect pearly white smile and a little ding. 
Uh, Snatch. Snatch is a halfling rogue. Uh, curly locks. Um, he's got quite a few beads of sweat pouring down his face at the moment, not just because it's hot in the sand that's swallowing him up and in the desert, but because his death is imminent. Um, <laughs> and he is standing there going, I really feel like, you know, if you guys could just stop talking about how you look and with your shiny teeth uh, and your fancy helmets and just throw me that rope, I might be able to get out of this. Oh, is this rope? Uh... We both look into the camera and smile. <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> Snatch died. Uh, thank you for joining us, Thanks, Ben. Guys. Uh, See yeah. 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 Um, no, seriously, go. Uh, no. no, we must continue on with our journey to London, England. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah. the London calling. There we go, yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Lauren's wow, big, I am by punk, myself. Big punk <laughs> I, I don't remember the lyrics, but the dumba dum boo is. Uh, <laughs> that sounds about right to me. It's, it's real catchy. As Joe Strummer wrote it. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, so the, the map overlay that is currently over the top of all of us uh, with this uh, red line that bounces from location to location and these little vignettes happen. And it's very nice and cute. Um, I know. And we eventually the red. <laughs> we are in Ethereal. <laughs> Uh, yes. Bloody lines. The red line draws to a f- one last red dot that says London, England, six months later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for fast travel, am I right? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty handy. It's, uh, yeah. Six months not fast by definition, but it'll, it's fine. It'll well, be. when it's only about 15 minutes, it's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> that is pretty um, good for us. Is... That is very good for us. So, you arrive in London, England, but if you are going to commit this uh, most daring and convoluted heist, well, you're going to need a ring in. You're going to need an expert. There's whispers of this person. Dude, this customs guy is really helpful, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. How? I mean, yeah, thanks. You, you must find the greatest <laughs> thief. I only just realised what the image was. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Carry on. Yes, yeah. as, as, as he pats you down um, and asks you to spread your legs. Uh, A-Land's way ahead yeah, of you. I'm, I'm yeah. waiting. I'm waiting very hopefully <laughs> next to you. <laughs> You've already got your legs akimbo ready, ready for that. Ready for a search. Um, yeah, he tells you that... Um, um, you, uh, yes, uh, well, um, yeah, uh, you've got to find the greatest thief uh, that has ever walked these lands. Their name is only ever whispered. Scott Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Yes, I'm playing here. Scott Morrison today. <laughs> <laughs> we're, in, we're in England, not Hawaii. Hey. 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 Uh, Their name is only ever whispered. No one actually knows their true name. It's like that bloody emperor. What is his name? I can't remember. Uh, Tim. Oh, yeah, that's it. (laughs) And so you put out an ad on Craigslist. (laughs) (laughs) And you find... What does it say? I don't know. What does it say? What's Uh, your ad say? uh, Looking for uh, heist member. Dear Craig... Could you please find <laughs> a, a, a heist friend on, uh, to uh, rob the British Museum? If, uh, if that would be acceptable to you. Must provide own tools. Don't forget to put that in there. Must, yeah. yes, yes. Must, must, must be a non-smoker. We can't pay them, so we have to do it in exposure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch will not be included. Uh, that's too real. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry I've got it. <laughs> oh, the, the exposure. exposure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and so... Who answers our ad? Well, there was a weird dude at first. He <laughs> <laughs> rocked up in a trench coat and kept on saying he had blueprints, but uh, you got a real weird vibe from him, so... <laughs> but, nah. So you got the second ad instead, and then you meet up at a cafe. <laughs> right on. Public place. Greasy. It's important. Greasy yes. spoon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
you meet them in front of the British Museum at a little cafe across the road. And we meet Wilbur. Wilbur. A Goliath. Yes. Walks up to you. <laughs> oh, holding also. a note holding a notepad. Going, Hi, can I take your order? <laughs> Yes, please, I'll have a dog's milk coffee. Three sugars. <laughs> um, Do you like those sugars stolen? Oh, oh, they said the thing! Wait, 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 wait. They said the thing! You guys! The code word. What? I think this is our person. This is the. This oh, is are they them. doing a thing where they're pretending to be a waiter yeah. and they're mm. actually going to be the. I think, okay, I've heard, I think I've heard of them. It's like one of the okay. best, like, second best rogue ever. Wilbur's currently <laughs> looking around the looking around the room, just checking that no one else is actually listening in. And then he lifts up his hat and takes off his moustache and goes, "Yes, it is I, <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, I the great thief, Wilbur Wontber." <laughs> <laughs> well met, Mister Wontber. <laughs> You gotta whisper it. I am naught but a humble waiter while we are here. Yeah, no. full English for me, thanks. So yeah, what what uh, what skills do you have? Oh, what skills do I have, please? I'm the greatest thief that there's ever been. I'm Wilbur Wontber. I've got blueprints. I've got charisma. <laughs> You can say that. And I've got comedic timing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have one of you in the group. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will have a flat white. <laughs> Are you sure it's not a latte, which you would just call milk? <laughs> If you could pour it into my helmet, it would be acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a around. filtration system. <laughs> uh, I, I don't actually work here. <laughs> Make that clear. I'll, I'll, I'll get uh, them then, guys, and snatch trundles off to the kitchen to, to get the orders. Classic snatch. Finds the kitchen. <laughs> about that, isn't it? I thought we were... Uh, do, uh, do you guys know what I like? Have a... Look, I, I responded to your ad just yeah. yes, you meant yeah. business. I appreciated right. that. Yeah. We just haven't had breakfast yet, so we should oh, right. yeah. sit for a bit and maybe chew the fat. Oh, well. like, um, I mean, I, I could eat. Yeah, cool, yeah. 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 Pull up a pew, oh, by all great. means. Yeah, perfect. Uh, These pews are weird. I'm just this weird cafe vibe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is like 50 people watching us. <laughs> as Wilbur sits down, his knees are like over the table as well. It's just kind of like sitting like an adult in a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> and another waiter walks up with a big moustache and a hat <laughs> with a little notepad and says, like, Hello, I'd like to take your order. And I pull my hat off and go, Guys, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> what a voice! That was amazing. Wow. Very transformative. Um, it's like you're a different person. I know. <laughs> Hang on, I put the hat on again. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, would you like? Uh, <laughs> would you like some food? <laughs> I don't know what accent that happened here, but it's the one that I'm going with. I believe it's Borat, is what it is. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, I am white, so I must do that. <laughs> I'll have the eggs, Kazakhstan. Thank you. <laughs> I will have a flat white. <laughs> <laughs> flat white coming up, okay. Um, uh, maybe you guys could maybe converse amongst yourselves with you. Look like you have a bunch of plans, uh, uh, sir, so, so that was just as me. Wilbur uh, leans into the table. This waiter knows too much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, it's just, it's just me, guys. Oh, yeah, and throw, yeah, yeah. Sorry, throw the oh, disguise right. away. <laughs> and I sit down. It was so convincing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I genuinely forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, kill him. <laughs> me too. Absolutely. <laughs> Flo was just about to raise them all <laughs> and just lop the head off right in the middle of Trafalgar <laughs> Square, <laughs> which is not where the British... Uh, Might be. A flock remember. of pigeons just rush up and one just flies straight into her mouth, <laughs> muffling her. <laughs> Trafalgar Square is the name of the cafe we're in. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. Good save. Now with pews, yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, yes, so you, uh, the, the crew, you all meet up with uh, Wilbur, and Wilbur has 
some plans uh, set out in front of him on the table of the British Museum. Now, look, are you all serious about this? Because, look, if you want to... If you think... If you think you're going to be able to pull this off with nothing but some improvisational wit about you, you've got another <laughs> thing coming. You've oh. No, no, no. We, we all have a lot of skills. A lot of skills uh, that we bring to the table. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm obviously also very uh, charismatic as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, I can do this. And she gets like a cherry thing and <laughs> ties a knot <laughs> in her mouth and then spits it out and shows it to everyone very proudly. Mm. Yeah. My God. This has really come in very handy in lots of sticky situations. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they weren't sticky before you ate the cherries, but uh, you know, <laughs> still, handy, you're right. My God, you might all just pull this off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, uh, yeah, Wilbur kind of points out the plans and goes like, all right, now... I just, I just want to be clear. I've been wanting to rob this museum for a whole... It's, it's been my lifelong dream ever since mm, I was a child. Okay. I've, robbed every, I've robbed every museum known to uh, beings, but yeah. I've never been able to crack the British Museum. Oh, why not? Is there like a special... Oh, they've got guards. Oh. <laughs> the other yeah. museum surprisingly lacks. Uh, yeah. But, um, you know, I'm the greatest thief in all the land. Thieving's not too hard, if I'm entirely honest. <laughs> I'm just kind of the best at it. You know? When you sort of stick at something for so long, it becomes like a game of unforced errors. Yeah, you know. You yeah. know. Eventually, it's just kind of your thing, and it's like you know, do you want to do something else? You know, I've already like, put ten thousand hours in. I might as well carry on. Exactly yeah. right. It's a living by this <laughs> point, anyway. You know. But look, if if we manage, so what is actually inside the British Museum? Well, we're actually we're we're, we're, uh, we're after a, a everything. Magical... Ever seen. We oh, no, no, that's not right no, at all. No, Don't no, we no, can't no, carry no, it. She's no, wrong there. Yeah. No, we're not. Close, we're actually though. after something quite specific. We're it avenging is... a mummy. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's an ankh. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, a, a thank you. Ankh. There was a whole intro that yes. happened. That had <laughs> I was getting there. that information. Was... Wait, wait. Yeah. The, the ankh. Yes. The golden ankh. Wait, Jim's but... golden ankh. Wait, Jim, but they Hang on, they are... They're celebrating the Golden Ank in a gala in just two days' time. Oh, amazing. Uh, how good. Can, good how work, can. I fed you that one. <laughs> Dan, don't break the magic. Come on. Receive that note in Facebook Messenger two days ago. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There was no response. <laughs> just read. <laughs> Did I thumbs it up this afternoon? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we're after the golden ank. Well, it looks like this gala's gonna be quite a night to remember. <laughs> He's right he looks about like the timing, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he kind of... Wilbur looks off into the distance with like a thousand yard stare and like, oh, something's happened to him in his past. We don't know what. We may never find out, especially not in this session, but you know that that backstory's there. <laughs> Oh, I it's, see. It's you want to come back, Patrick? That's great. No, no, no. This, <laughs> this has been great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Snatch walks over with the flat white and... Um, <laughs> one dog's milk, Stanley. one latte, it's one it's full it. English. No, ex-Kazakhstani. I changed my life. Uh, <laughs> bugger. You've um, really got to go, though. The dockets on the pass are really starting to build up anyway, so... I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> this service is atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> He's our other rogue, by the way, just so you know. Oh. Yeah, he got some skills. Not at waiting, though, obviously. Yeah. Well, he is smaller than me, I suppose, so that'll be a benefit. <laughs> Am I still there? I can, I can... From across the road. I can hear you. I know you're making short jokes. You fucking fox tall ass down the hive. It's, it's complimentary! Huh? Being tall's rather difficult as a rogue. Yeah, he's very, I, he's very I quite sensitive. respect you. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Uh, here's a complimentary uh, dog's... <laughs> dog's milk. Finish it, you know, we're uh, here, we're supporting you. Yeah, I'm just trying you're to balance... Well. I'm trying to balance all these things, uh, you know, roguing a terrible accent and uh, another funny order and I'm afraid all I've got is just more dog's milk for you. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, normally we just insult Snatcher's character. Yeah. <laughs> it's really thrown him It's thrown him. It's thrown him. It's yeah. really yeah. thrown him. I, I like Willibur would, would, won't... Willibur, <laughs> won't, you, won't you? You had one chance, Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid short fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Now it feels more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we. Um, yeah, it feels better. Now. We actually call him the crier from the Shire, so, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only when he masturbates. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, you, you pour. Lot of weird. <laughs> you, you pour over. You pour over the blueprints, and now with this new information with the pour over from, coffee as well at the from same Wilbur, time. knowing that there is going to be a 50-year anniversary of the British Museum Gala, where they are going to unveil the Golden Ankh. You can see that uh, the building itself. In fact, you're actually at a cafe across the road from the British Museum, so it's right fucking there. Yeah, Trafalgar Square. Um, so you can see it's like it's this big it's a big square building literally i looked at the blueprints it's square <laughs> um and and the, <laughs> where did you get those <laughs> the dark oh, world yeah. yeah um lots of research anyways uh, and so you can see the front of it it's got like these uh, sort of greek um, columns that are holding up a peaked roof. Um, there's like two wings that come out at the front entrance on either side of the building in like sort of a pincer. And at the very uh, centre on the on the roof, there's this massive domed uh, glass window um, up the top. Uh, so where am That's I? That's weird. I thought an ankh was like a straight up with a loop on the. T- <sighs> <sighs> yes. What? I'm missing the. No, g- no. <laughs> Let him finish. Maybe you could explain it for me. Yeah, no, absolutely. That always works well (laughs) for me. Um, The the building... Yes. ...is is the shape of an ank. Is that...? No. No. So the ank is the shape of the... No. No, they don't share any resemblance in shape. (laughs) There is the golden (laughs) ank which you were stealing from... The museum, which is, yes, uh, uh, kind of like a cross with a little uh, teardrop loop at the top of it. Right, right. Um, really enjoying so all these hands. For the benefit of the podcast, they're just drawing in the thin air. Yeah. 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 To, to, and, be, to be fair, Aylan has been rubbing, tugging his uh, leg hairs for the whole time. So. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a real long shot here. Is anyone else for the ankh just picturing the Millennium Key from Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Excellent. One nod. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you for all Yes. yes. <laughs> and this you know, gentleman was like... the last episode yeah, of Moon Knight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see where you're going. I'm <laughs> picturing an ank, because that's I know what that is. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause all. for ank knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know it wasn't a request. Oh, it was a commentary. <laughs> So yes, as I said, the um, the building is very square. It's a, a square building. Anyways, so like an ank. Yes, yeah. like just, <laughs> just just like a fucking ank. Yes, <laughs> yes, anks are hey, square. Look, don't get angry. Oh, I tell you what, Danny, this description is becoming a bit of an ank around your neck. I reckon. So. Uh... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's a massive domed glass window that's at the centre of the building uh, uh, on the roof and um, you know and that looks down into a, a circular shaped reading room where there's like uh, bookshelves that line all the old the walls um, and there's uh, like set out like spokes on a wheel is a whole bunch of reading desks at the very center of the the uh, the room um, you now know with Wilbur's information um, that there is uh, there's two stories Second story houses all kinds of uh, ancient artifacts as well as the main security hub that's important. Second story. Probably, we'll probably the... forget that. Then. Second story. <laughs> okay. And then, um, so then, uh, uh, beside the reading room, there is the Egyptian uh, artifacts, stolen stuff. Um, Louise points to that part of the map and says... That is where we need to go. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is the spot. Where? There is a large... There is... You are a very learned uh, fish woman. Um, Thank you, Your uh, knowledge of land and stuff is amazing. Uh, and you're French. Um, uh, and I probably so, just give up. There's, there's a big statue of a sphinx in that area, so it's pretty fucking obvious. And then there's a security door that leads down into the vault room. In the vault room, there is a whole bunch of laser beams that protect the golden ank. It's very classic, you know. Man, I'm glad we had those blueprints. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> I've, yeah. spent, I've had these blueprints for 
years just looking at them going, how are we possibly going to get into it? I'm going to need at least, at least five more people with me <laughs> to help me out with this heist. I, I just can't, I couldn't possibly do it alone. Craigslist is a good service, isn't it? I tell yeah. you, you just find what you're looking for. It's amazing I didn't turn to it earlier, just... That one guy, Craig, just walking around, just Reading. helping people out with yeah. their troubles. Good on him, honestly. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's how I found my hat. He's oh! Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good, I reckon. Really? Yeah, yeah. For the purposes of the podcast listeners, I don't have a hat. No. I'm, I'm making believe. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so let's let's get into this goddamn fucking heist. I'm putting down well, the notes. Right? Hey, we've got, <laughs> we've okay, got... so your mission is is that you need to get down into the security get vault down. room. In the vault room is where the golden ank is, but it's got a bunch of laser beams in front of it. In order to get access to said vault room, you need to get the key card from the head of security. Who's British? Oh, oh uh, well, yeah. I think. Yikes! We could put it another ad on Craigslist. In my experience with dealing with the British, if we just <laughs> pretend to trip over, they will s- surely apologise. And uh, and while they are apologising profusely for my mistake, uh, I'm sure they will uh, be stolen the key. That's I mean, a- I, we will sto- sto- oh, fuck. <laughs> It's your, it's your second you language. Doing so You're doing great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah very good. <laughs> Thank and you. Carry on. Yeah. Oh, well, and then uh, maybe one of the thieves will uh, take the card, and then we will use it to get past the lasers. That's yes. good. Yes, that that's exactly what the heist is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, maybe, that's maybe exactly what I'm trying talk. to describe, is that you will have to try and... One of you will have to try and steal the yeah, but Jack's, key card. Jack's doing the translation for our French listeners, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I can all appreciate I that. So sorry, We're bilingual you know, now. That's so right. To <laughs> all our French <laughs> listeners. Um, so <laughs> yes, so you need to get the key card yep. in order to get into the vault room, but then there's lasers. So you need to do a little bit of computer hacking on the crystal matrix in order to... Oh. I know, there's oh. a lot more details than what was originally uh, mentioned at the May- start. <laughs> Maybe we should just focus on each step at a time, you guys. I find that's helpful when I'm really fucking confused. So let's start with the key Look. card. Well, you Look. know what they say about eating an elephant. Salt and pepper is definitely required. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. So one step at a time and I'm with you. And I've got the seasoning. So. <laughs> let's go. Thank you. Thank God we all had breakfast, because you're clearly starving. It's clearly the only thing in your mind. Very hungry. I don't know what it is. Look, look, I've done a whole lot of heists. I've done a whole lot of break-ins. If there's one thing I know from all of my heists, step number one is getting inside. Well, I bought Mm. bought us all tickets. Uh, (laughs) Oh! Wait, you, sorry, you, oh, you've, you've already I... bought us all tickets to the yeah, gala? Yeah, we well, actually, it's free entry because it's a uh, proper country. So. Oh. <laughs> Unlike oh. France? Or Unlike they... America. Oh, they, yeah. they must pay their own. Um. <laughs> so we can just stroll in and just, you know... Grab that key card, shoot through some lasers, bada bing, bada boom. We we can do it, and we'll have time oh. for second breakfast. I mean, that's, yes, I am none of this in. seems very difficult. I don't know why you're nervous so about we're, it. So we're going to go in disguising ourselves as regular patrons, tourists. Or yeah. tourists. Yes. But when, oh. that sounds fun. No, On I like second that. thought, that does not sound quite so stunning. You're right. What no if, one will think oh, you're a tourist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. We come in via the sewer. No. The big window on the top. Oh, Chekhov's gun. What? Oui. <laughs> the big window in the top. The big window in the top. Big, big window in the top. I tell you what, if there's anything I know about a big window, it is on the top. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Absolutely, you fucking brilliant fish. <laughs> Finishing each other's sentences. (laughs) 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 
You all right. All right. Uh, Will, Will, but do we need to wait till the cover of darkness? Like, if you could have your ultimate heist, how would we go about starting? And the gala's in a couple of days' time. Are we doing it before the gala or when it's actually happening? Here's what we're going to need to do. The right, right when the gala is on, that is when there's going to be the, the most amount of hubbub going on Ooh, at the yeah. museum itself. Uh-huh. So yes. I reckon we want to both... At, under the cover of night, right when the gala is just beginning. We want to find our way up to the roofs, but before then, we're going to need outfits. We are going to need outfits. Shopping yeah. episode! Shopping, Shopping, Shopping trip! <laughs> Straight to Savile Row. <laughs> <laughs> That's in London. <laughs> Yeah. It's right next to Trafalgar Square. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I assume. As I, a, I, I, yes. That, that, yeah, that's good. I was going to go High Street, but yeah, no, that one. What one did, did you, you say? say? High Saddle Street. Row. Uh, Saddle Row. Saddle Row. Saddle Row. Saddle. Saddle. Jimmy Sa- oh. No. Oh, we all no. thought it, and no one was going to fucking say it, Dan. Sorry, my uh, bad. Yeah. So, they make uh, suits. Stop shopping they make montage? suits. There's lots of tailors. Uh, so, wait, oh. are we now doing oh. a shopping fucking episode? Well, I was just yes. about to ask, are we, <laughs> are we going to That's role what you play? told me on well, Facebook Messenger we were going to do a shopping episode <laughs> yeah. disguised as a heist. <laughs> 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 Let's go shopping! Yeah! You've got in. that mighty heart to handle. I'm like a thing that burns a candle. Ooh, and like, Chloe walks out on. in like an amazing like evening gown and just sort of does a twirl and like gestures to everyone. And everyone goes, no. <laughs> and then she goes, bam. The thing that burns a canna and a candle feeds a flame. And then she comes back out again, and it's like this short, tight little kind of kinky number. And she's like, What? And everyone goes, No. Yeah. Oh, no. no. <laughs> One more. One more. <laughs> What's the chorus again? Rule three. I don't know, I'm just doing it. And you, woo-hoo. And then she comes out wearing the same thing she's been wearing the whole time, and everyone goes, Yeah! yeah. I'm not worried about fair use at all. I think that's. I think we nailed that song. <laughs> <laughs> also by Joe Strummer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I <laughs> it's the same lyrics. That's <laughs> so we're gonna role play out this whole shopping app, or do you just want to star wipe to the? I just. I just did it. What, yeah. We were there. Yeah. I did. We, did we you. all do that. Just, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now it finishes, and we're all dressed exactly the In same as Flo. In identical. <laughs> Cool. Like Beyonce, Beyonce at the Super Bowl. Yeah, you're yeah. 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 Beyonce, yeah. Beyonce we look, onesies. We look, Ready for the fucking gala. Yeah, we look like one of those Jackson 5 buskers who's one person in the middle with like two dummies on either side attached yeah. by sticks. We've completely synchronised our movements. Yeah. Mm. Only one of us is fucking short. <laughs> After two solid days of rehearsal, the sleeves are just dragging on it. <laughs> yeah, we've just been rehearsing the entire time in yep. the Beyonce onesies uh, all the way up until the gala night. We've got this. This flash mob plan is beautiful. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh right. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So, yes, uh, two days go by. Star wipe. Um, <laughs> And uh, you have been working on your flash mob um, routine, and uh, the uh, there is a lot of uh, hubbub uh, around the British Museum. Hubbub, 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 hubbub. Um, gala, gala, gala. As, as uh, you know, imperialism. As the event organisers, they're p- they're they're, they're putting up <laughs> they're putting up umbrellas and uh, you know setting up marquees, and there's this big old red carpet down the very very centre of the gardens out the front. Ooh, it's very yes. Excuse hello, me, excuse you, me, madam. Man. I yes. say as I walk up to um to to one of the uh, guards and say, uh, you look like the the right lady to talk to. Uh, we are the entertainment for the gala tonight. Could you please direct us to our dressing room, which I believe is inside uh, uh, roof. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Maybe we can do that. Let's go the hard way. Uh, it's there's where? one up on the roof. It's where? Up, upstairs on it's, the it's roof. On the roof, there's the second floor. It's I'm just, sorry. We need the natural light. I don't remember there being entertainment for this evening. Uh, this is my British accent, if you wanted to know. <laughs> it's female Michael what? Kane. <laughs> it's Michelle. Michelle Kane. <laughs> Michelle Kane. There we go. You've got Michelle. it. That's the prompt. Go on. You were supposed to blow the bloody doors. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Anyway, 
So um, flash mob wasn't how I'm you drew sorry. it up? Okay. Uh, could I please see some kind of identification of some description of uh, the new uh, the right, entertainment three, for three, two, one, go! And we just start our routine, which is impeccable. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Can we roll? Do we need to roll for that? Roll for sure, we're going to oh, roll yes. for that impeccable fucking Let's routine. Let's roll a dice. It's uh, dead. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, yeah. Patrick, this Off is a good start. I rolled a one, oh. but oh. I trip over oh, the extra lucky. length of sleeves and, and legs in my outfit, but um, I'm a lucky little halfling, which means I get to re-roll yeah. those. Oh, it's a two. <laughs> <laughs> Brack, I I'm got just a gonna... 20! Yeah. Yes! So that balances it out, That was right? the maiden Five. roll of these dice that you literally bought an hour ago. Bought, yeah. the, bought them an hour ago just for this. I've been very D&D &D starved. Seven. So... Um, Brackeye at the centre of this um, Muppet puppet show as you are all stuck on with uh, sticks. Uh, but fortunately, Brackeye's at the centre and he's controlling everyone else who Thank is God. failing really, really bad at, at, at this uh, dance routine. But Brackeye's got the moves and oh. he is... Uh, and uh, this nameless, who will remain nameless, uh, Michelle. NPC... Michelle. Michelle. Oh. Michelle Kane. Michelle Kane. It's on your, it's on your identification badge, badge actually. Badge. Yeah, that's right. Right oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> wow, that was very, very good. You are entertainers, aren't you? Well, that was very surprising. Well, yes, yes your green room, we will have to uh, get it together, seeming that it is up in the roof. Uh, that's a bit of a <laughs> bit of an odd place for you well, guys we, to right get on to that. relax. Michelle, Michelle, uh, we were planning to come in via the roof. Uh, it is part of our entertainment. Uh, could you open the windows at the top? And while, while, while Michelle is looking in disbelief at uh, our fish companion, I go, psst, psst, blah, blah. You want me to roll for yeah. that? Let's or? do it. Let's yeah. do it. Roll a persuasion check let's, for me, please. Let's do a joint, like, big box. There's a card in a thing. Great idea. Yeah. Absolutely. We're both rogues. We are both rogues. <laughs> Good thing. And I really look up to you, one man. Let's do a short sleight of hand. Flo, is, Flo is, a, is, a, is a barbarian, so she just kind of sneezes real fucking loud. <laughs> Will that give That's us... A... <laughs> due to the, oh, my gosh. Due to the sneeze, can that give us a help action? Roll with well, advantage. Hang on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because yeah. she's... Uh, Michelle is distracted. The rest of us are waiting around... Didn't help. ...looking at Michelle, hoping that she might say something after the sneeze. Go short and tight. <laughs> Uh, I got it. That's not very British. Yeah. Yes, no, no. Maybe she's the imposter. Oh. I detect thoughts on Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Firstly, uh, Jack, you rolled a persuasion check to see if she would open up the windows on the roof. How'd you go? Uh, I, got, I got a nine. Nine. Yeah. Not good enough. <laughs> um, really? I thought I did. It's below ten. Yeah, yeah. We've got no modifiers here. <laughs> um, uh, she looks at you and goes, "Oh, that's." Yeah, okay, I guess I could maybe open a window for a bit of a breeze, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And then you detect thoughts. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Service. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you. Um Haddock. It's an English fish. Uh, <laughs> kippers? Yes. Okay, bye. I did a lot of research on British people. I did. Um, I feel like we should get advantage with how distracted she just was. Because <laughs> yeah. I rolled real bad. Flo well, sneezes uh, again. That's oh! <laughs> I mean, I rolled a 12 and that was with advantage. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You already got a fucking advantage oh, on Oh, well, that. I got an 8 then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, th yes, uh, Michelle is completely distracted by um, your antics. Uh, however, as you try and, like, jostle past to uh, slip a, a hand in to get the key card... My sleeves are too long. Uh, yeah. And, well, you're short, and so... <laughs> you're, like, trying desperately to reach out and your little I've, fingers are going like... We're doing teamwork. I've got Willibur on my shoulders. Because <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yes, we're actually, uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we're, we're actually wearing a trench coat uh, yeah. right over the two of it. So I'm, uh, most of the trench coat is me. But it's yeah. <laughs> and you have back issues now, so <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> hey, Dan. 
Um, there's, no, there's no commotion from us attempting to uh, uh, pickpocket. The pickpocket was, wasn't noticed. It was simply missed. It was just missed. It oh, was, thank uh, God. Michelle was so distracted by the, uh, the uh, routine as you danced and um, sung your way off into... And sneezed. I was and, doing a lot of sneezing. And sneezed. Uh, off Straight into, in her face. Into like, no mask, the wings, nothing. Into <laughs> the front entrance of the British Museum. Oh, we <laughs> made it. That was easy. We got in. That was the first step, right? Step one, get inside. It's always step one. Yes, yeah. as far as objectives go, gain access. Yes, tick. <laughs> um, Just like you drew it up. <laughs> yes, like I drew it up. Exactly how I imagined this was entirely going to go. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, you make your way in uh, into the front entrance. You can see on the left-hand side there's a bunch of Roman uh, statues and uh, relief carvings as well. And on the right-hand Ooh. side there's uh, a, a section that's dedicated to the Greek um, statues. Yes, I looked at the fucking map. Oh, yeah? Classic. <laughs> wow. Wow, you did um, a lot of research. Yeah. So... Flory puts her uh, finger to her ear and goes, comms, comms, uh, comms operation, comms, we've got everybody on comms, comms, can Hello! you hear me? Hello, okay. everybody, can you hear, uh, are these working? She winces and is like, that's, that's a little bit, could you turn it down just a touch? Absolutely, oh, I see the problem, yes, absolutely, <laughs> comms are right, working. Comms, comms are working, everyone on comms. And she sort of like, like moves to this sort of edge of the room and starts to kind of look incredibly not like suspicious and just sort of like like does that little like robber sneaky thing and dun, 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 I'm dun, picturing dun, that dun, classic dun, Pink Panther yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He's like, very high I've knees. got eyes on the room I see lots of people some Roman shit on one side uh, and, and I see all of you on the other side and uh, and I see uh, well I mean I don't know I mean I assume I look fabulous can you someone do? tell me what yes. I look like yeah, my, my you... Beyonce at the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Over. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're, um, ten four, big doggy. We're at the uh, we're, de- we're at the entrance to the security room up the stairs, aren't we? Yes, I know that. that yes, Star Wipe. You've. Um, <laughs> you uh, actually, Lauren, could you please uh, a roll a stealth check for me as well as roll a perception check for me? Stealth is ten. What stealth is ten. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Is that perception? Your... That's my first twenty the entire season. Oh my hey. <laughs> and it was perception. <laughs> 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 And boy, oh boy, are you perceptive. Um, You uh, see across the hubbub of the room as people... uh, the the guests are starting to arrive. Yeah, I can there's, taste how everyone you know, smells. Very this is British incredible. and very highbrow and well-to-do. Hmm, haddock. <laughs> that no, guy no, likes hey, fish. No sound effects. Um, and yes, throughout the, uh, the the commotion in the room, you see an elderly gentleman, bald on top. Wait, with... hang on, what? That's rude. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Rude. No. No. Yes, Jack is losing his hair. Uh, um, if he's bald on top, where is he not bald? Yeah. On the sides. Ah, sides Mr. and Burns back style. Sides, yeah. Yes. Full, like full grown, like well kept. You know, it's kind of like a bob. <laughs> Um, oh, like like wait, full grown, <laughs> full grown, like full yeah. mullet just you, on the side. Yeah, but Ooh. like <laughs> the, not not on the neck. He's keeping it off the neck. He's got some oh, okay. fucking self respect. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like a Franciscan monk, but with an angled bob. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so is so perceptive. Yes. She knows all of this. All right. Yeah. Also, also, Patrick, I think in England they call a uh, mullet a haddock. Sorry. Oh, I see. Thank you. <laughs> just, just a fish pun. Oh, boy. So. Oh, boy. Anyways. Uh, that yes. did not make the back row, and that's fine. Tell us more about this guy's hair. <laughs> I'm trying to... Something uh, fishy about him. There is something fishy about him. Something very English about him. Mm. Um, you see that he has a name badge that says Head of Security. And you know... You start tracking him through the room. You see uh, Flo, you see him on the other side, and you're, you're tracking him as the rest of you are now star-wiped upstairs to the security room, still yes. in your um, 
costume with the sticks that is Emil is mostly uh, performing at the at the center of. Brackeye's just going for it, like really leaning in, uh, doing his best Beyonce. But Brackeye, you you gotta turn it down. I can't keep this dancing up. I, I don't. It's the the diving bell is very hot. <laughs> And I'm very unfit. Kickball change, kickball change, come on, quick! Oh, my toes are bleeding. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and key change, go! Uh, yes, uh, my toes Jack, are bleeding. L- Louise, you're struggling. You're, you're struggling a bit with the uh, the diving bell suit with the Beyonce onesie over the top of yeah. the diving bell. Um, what are you doing? I'm just sort of like, I'm so... We're fucking... keeping the facade that we are performers, Dan. <laughs> we, are, we are, you know, we're just creating a distraction, right, some yeah, might let's say. See how I'm you need going. a reason to be backstage. Not good! Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Uh, so you make your way up the stairs and then you uh, find yourself at, the, uh, at a door that says... Security. Is the head of security interested why the performers are performing in front of the door? No, no, I've got eyes no, on him. Head, head of security is down with us. He's, oh. he's, he's, Flo's, he's Flo's got eyes on I've got eyes on head oh, of security. Oh, Wilbur, you're down with um, Flo? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Wilbur, do you have eyes on security? I do too. Yes, I found someone oh. with, with a... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. I found someone with a name tag that says head of security. So yes. that's good. We found someone named oh, head look, of security. Oh, look, he's picking his nose. <laughs> Oh, very. Oh, oh, yes. oh, he's, oh, he, oh, he's eating it. Oh, oh gross. no. no. Well, I, I'm oh, really he's going in again. Wow. I mean, that's some buried treasure right there, isn't it? All I can see <laughs> is the inside of this fucking trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> I said a slow pace. Stop uh. sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking, you're looking a, little, a, little, uh, a little suspicious there. You might want maybe just grab a glass of champagne. Yes. <laughs> Wilbur picks up two glasses of champagne and puts one in his trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wilbur. <laughs> Takes out an empty glass, puts it back. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Continues head, walking. Head of security seems to be not suspicious at all. So if you're going to do anything, do it now. Excellent. Um, uh, I kind of lean forward <laughs> to you, indicate you, that we should move in a particular direction. You hear a, a <laughs> hiccup from underneath. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. And I yep. start uh, s- start moving forward. Yes, Excellent. As, strength as, check. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Holding up the Goliath. Um, 15. Yeah. yeah. Deal with That's disadvantage because of your back issues. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 17. 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guys, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, uh, yeah, then head over to the head of yes, security. Yes, you head over towards the head of security because you do recall that he is the one with the key card. Yes. yes. As you're, there's the three of you right, are so upstairs we, we have to dancing. Hack the, we have to hack of... the computer and what we have to do is this. And quick, 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 Jack, come on. There's a kick there, mate. <laughs> Higher in the change. kicks. What? Uh, Ball uh, heel. Louise, right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, all right. So uh, let's, I guess we, let's see if the door's open. Uh, remember that dance move, the door open up. Let's <laughs> try that out. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two three. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Push or pull? It's, it's hard. Oh. You got a 50 50 choice. <laughs> oh, I have to decide. Push! Hey, it opens! Hey. 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 We're in! Now we just have to. Hang on. Brecker tries to go forward, but the sticks, of course, on the side prevent him from going through the door frames. So, hey. Louise and yeah. Alan just hit the sides <laughs> of the oh, door. Hang on a second. Oh, oh, one of these days I'll get this. And he just doesn't seem to be able to get that he could come back and swivel around. He just keeps on. Keeping going until uh, somebody maybe we go <laughs> and the sticks snap shape. and then ah, all three of oh. you can walk into a fucking oh, room. Oh, thank God! <laughs> this museum's greatest security is ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I know the security room, which just required you to open it and go in. Beaten by some sticks. I see. I see. It was an ironic title then. Security room. Yes. Yeah. You step in, and there is <laughs> <laughs> Alanis Morissette. <laughs> um, no, you step into the room, and there's uh, there's three security guards that are in there. They're like, Oh, hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, we thought you might like a bit of entertainment. Oh, yes. that's very <laughs> kind of you. We've been starved for entertainment. It's uh, been a COVID pandemic. Yeah, and right. Stuff. Okay, so you just got to watch right here. Watch right here. Brackett puts his finger out and kind of does some weird circles. Right, right. And then punches okay. him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 
17! Yes. yes! For the Goliath fist to the security guard's face! Yeah, you... you yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, um, you draw a circle in the air and... Flo front, just goes and on calms like, and goes, all right, everyone, uh, just, just, just once, I just really need to pee. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> remember, That's all right. it's a push door, push door. Push. <laughs> Don't pull. We're watching. We're watching. All right, and we're certainly listening. listening. Um, uh, yeah, you uh, draw a, a circle in the air in front of him being like, ooh, hey, look at this, you know, look at this, what's this? And then you just drop, punch him in the nuts. Oh. Well, that is an interesting way to knock out. Strange yeah. place to put your nuts in the face, but that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> great. It is. It's one of those nut face people. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Or oh, British. I'm imagining someone who is not. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> okay. a scrotum for a face. Yes, <laughs> I get it. Alien, <laughs> Louise, get in there. I cast sleep on the other two guards. Great. Uh, that's a wisdom? Sure. Sure. <laughs> you can do that. It's a two. Oh, they go to sleep. Uh, the uh, other two um, go to sleep as uh, the first one grasps his um, nuts in his face. Probably could have cast it on three, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them really off, suffered like... a worse fate than the others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finish him off, Louise. Louise goes up to him and uh, hands him a pamphlet. It says, the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> and... Uh, you should uh, really reassess your labour conditions. And then he falls to sleep, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. yeah. Oh, you can't sleep too. Yeah. <laughs> Flo oh, comes back on comms. All right, sorry everybody about that. Oh, I'll, I'll look Flo by day. name, Flo by nature, okay. <laughs> Bro, I'll, I'll yeah, you left your hand in your Anyways, uh, you see on the opposite side of the room there is the crystal matrix computer that is made up of... Crystals. Whoa. Are they that all isn't green really... lines that go down from the top of the screen? That's green lines. Reference. Yes. <laughs> Actually, there's like three green lines, and then there's a bar that goes like left and right, and then uh, like you've got to hit a button that goes like boop, and you've got to build the <laughs> oh, stack. Oh, okay. I know this. <laughs> it says press any key. Great. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad I chose a really convoluted story. You did also <laughs> say I'm making a big sandpit for you guys to, to just... fucking play around in. Um, yes, you are. Uh, you start uh, hacking into the c crystal matrix mainframe by Press pressing the key again. one button. I'm glad they picked us to hack the mainframe. We're the likely candidates. This for is the hacking. right choice for sure. You are not the rogues at all. No. Uh, so no, yes, no, none of them are. Um, uh, Greg. Alan, could you please roll a dice as the I can. bars start to go faster and faster? 19! Oh man, you're yes. ahead! And I'm the really bars good are at stacking! Pong, or whatever the game you know, the reference. Stacker! Stacker! Stacker game! Yes. And the arcade? No, no. Tetris? Tetris, Tetris is actually yeah, like Tetris. 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 You just, it moves no, it's not Tetris. <laughs> is it like. Stacker's the oh. Ukrainian version, we're likely to lead like into that for the obvious Tetris. reasons. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you start hacking into the stacker um, as uh, the three um, Flo, Wilbur, and Snatch with Wilbur on his shoulders. Uh, you approach the, the security, head of security guard. Yeah. Uh, so Flo's gonna uh, go and distract him uh, while the other two are gonna pickpocket. I, th I thought that's what the running to the toilet bit was. Like. <laughs> 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 that is run up to the head of security and be like, I'm going to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ask him where the bathroom is. That's a good idea. <laughs> Twelve. Was that was, was that rolling a dice to see how well you asked him where the bathroom <laughs> yeah. was? We've got to fit the dice rolls whenever we can, otherwise we won't do it. So yeah. Yeah, we're, yes. we're at risk of becoming de accredited from the D and D podcast. Here, so. <laughs> not Gotta rolling roll enough. So yes, I roll to ask him where the toilet is and if he will be distracted enough by that at it's the same there. time. Good. Uh, Thank you so much, over. sir. <laughs> and then she goes. She walks away and then turns around and comes back and goes. I don't like the look of your face. Is it the hair? <laughs> no, I, 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 
I, I, say I, I try to really bold style and then... Uh, Otherwise, uh, if I didn't like the look self-com. of your hair, I would have said so. But no, I'm saying I don't like the look of your face, buddy. Why? <laughs> Wilbur and, uh, I want to say Snitch. No. I don't quite remember. Uh, snatch. It's fine, Thank I'm you. sure. Uh, Wilbur, Wilbur and Snatch are now uh, on the floor, still in the trench coat, but like creeping <laughs> down, like out of the view of the thing. Uh, Fantastic. Can I roll a stealth roll? 100% you can roll a stealth roll. And because roll. I've got him with me, is that, can, is that a help action? Or is that going to be, no, that's worse for uh, me? Uh, it's kind of a bit but more It's worse a, for me, really. It's yeah, like the, being just the legs sh- of the donkey. One, one straight roll. All right, one straight, straight roll. roll. That's a motherfucker. Six. Six. And with advantage, it is. Oh. <laughs> Six. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh. So, yeah, um, uh, Wilbur, you are lying on your back um, and. <laughs> oh, an awful way to crawl. <laughs> awful way to crawl. <laughs> uh, snatch, snatch is still between your legs. Um, and he's. <laughs> Where else would you find him? Yeah. He's. He's like putting, he's putting his feet Waiting into the ground and then like COVID. pushing, so he's trying to slide your whole body yeah. weight. Like, um, like a mechanic underneath a car, right? Yeah, exactly, yes. like yes. a mechanic yeah. underneath a car. Um, <laughs> and the security guard looks over at you and is like, what are you fucking doing? Oh, oh, I, I, I can't find my contact lens. It's, oh. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, please, let me help you look for that. Thank you. You want to roll a persuasion check? Absolutely, me? I do. 15. Fucking I roll an That's 11. That's your point, deception check. Thank you so much. <laughs> while, while what the... I meant, deception. Thank you. You don't know if I lost my contact lens. <laughs> That's very true. Deception check. What was it? 15. I rolled an 11. Yes. It's still did the same thing. While the guard is on um, all fours helping uh, w- Willibur uh, look for the, the contact lenses, I take the opportunity to slip out of the uh, the trench coat. Good yeah. choice. And I, I just, you know, raise my hand up and, and nick the uh, um, card. Flo the steps card. into the trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm taller. <laughs> But you're on right. the ground looking for the contact lens, so we don't know that. Yes. Seven. I sneeze. Help action. <laughs> Seventeen. <Yeah>! A two. <laughs> Oh, that's, a very, one. that's a very good strategy. We've got to get to the break. Come on. <laughs> yes, we need to get to the break. Um, yes, uh, at first he, he starts to feel uh, some tiny little fingers start rummaging around in his pocket. And just as he starts to turn, you sneeze. A Jew! Oh, no, my other contact lens. <laughs> oh, no! Shot uh, out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you should really get that checked out. Um, <laughs> you're, you're shooting... Contact lenses from your eyes. What a superpower. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to give 2020 vision to everybody. Um, and uh, Snatch, you're able to manage to pull the key card out. Now you will be able to have access to the security vault while you're still hacking. And that's where we're going to take a break, which is still going to be a quick break. Because yeah. we've gone a bit over time. Um, but yeah. Uh, so go and grab a drink and uh, Thanks so much, pee. yeah. Clap for the first half. If you want to do it, it's happening. We'll see you back here in 10 minutes, everybody. Go 10 get a minutes. Drink. Thank, you. Thank you. Go and pee if you haven't already. Now is the Lauren. time. <laughs> I'll, I'll be going now again. Is now is the time. I, could, I would have pissed myself if, if that was the amount of time. Hello, and thanks for listening. Hey, if you like Dice Paper Roll, please tell your friends about it. Tell everybody. Rate, review, like, subscribe, share us on social media, say nice things about us, and tell all of your friends uh, because we would really appreciate it. It helps us get the word out there to find new listeners. And uh, look, if you really like us, you can also support us on Patreon, and you'll find links on our website or at patreon.com forward slash Dice Paper Roll. Thank you, and on with the show. It is that time again. I hope you have all had a refill. If you haven't, get to the bar, fill your drinks up, and welcome back to the stage, the cast of Dice Paper Roll. Let's hear the sound effect of a, an audience that's absolutely pumped. Yeah. You know the drill. Woo. Keep clapping until we're sitting down. Close enough. Get your chairs in. Do the thing. Love this for us. All right. 
sweet. Back from the break. So who, who actually plays D&D here? Round of applause. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of characters do we play? Is Captain it... Rakes, Yay! Yes. Does, your, does your party give you shit for being short as well or is it just my fuckhead mates? No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's just my mates. It's, okay. I think it's just your behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> does uh, my, does my... your halfling rogue have... The lucky feet. Oh well, yeah, because you're a half life. Yeah, that's just some bullshit, by the way. I don't know if anyone's ever DM'd with a halfling rogue. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Same. No judgment can here, I, though. No I judgment. Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no you. Judgment. A halfling. Uh, what other? What other classes? What's about a show of hands? So how many rogues out there? How many people play rogues? Cool. Yeah. Uh, how? There how are actually s- more of them, but they're sneakily not raising <laughs> yeah. their hands. Classic <laughs> rogue. Some say they're in the roof. <laughs> uh, druids? Are there any druids? People there are. People. Oh, oh, like oh yeah. Nice. Somebody likes home. Who loves that? No one loves druid. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Who are the tech fucks? Who are the wizards? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Just one I make the game what oh, I want it. it to be. <laughs> yeah, a wizard did it. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Oh, oh yeah. wow, a troll yeah. wizard. That's, <laughs> that's, good. No, I get that's that. different. No, yeah. I, I get that. I do magic in my comedy shows because I fucking hate magicians. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> totally feel you, yeah. Does, everyone ha- does anyone have an amazing character name that they think is really cool? Pop, pop your oh. hand up, we'll call it. We'll, we'll go to you. What's yours called? Bronze Wind. Bronze Wind. Bronze Wind. I do remember. Like a fart. Do we get... We're all, where's that little kid? He'll understand. <laughs> He's gone. It's not his thing. On the other side. This not is not, thing. It's not oh, a no, nine-year-old like thing. It. Oh, no. man. Yeah, no. Surprise. We did try to warn them. Yes. Yeah. Well, now we know our demographic. <laughs> Not kid shows. I feel like I should have made the rub and tug joke at the start. (laughs) (laughs) Should have made a Thomas the Tank Engine joke. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft, true. Minecraft. Oh. Bluey. Well, he's, yeah. What's <laughs> Sorry, I said Bluey and you gave me fa- I do. I've done so much kids entertainment. I know kids like Bluey and I said Bluey and you went, what? <laughs> what, the f- what the hell are you talking about? What the Wrestling, fu- I said. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> She yeah, thought you fine. said Louis, as in Louis so C.K. Fine. I was like, oh, Ooh, what? So good. Yeah. No, you don't know, kids, buddy. Yeah, that's a different kind of rub and tub. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. We've come full circle. All right, yeah, and we're back from the break. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we find uh, our party split into two with uh, Snatch, Flo, and Wilbur downstairs after they have just uh, stolen the uh, the secret key pass to get down into the vault. Get Meanwhile, down. on the second story in the security room, we have Brackeye, Louise, and Alan, um, <laughs> who are working away hacking into the Crystal Matrix computer Left. arcade machine. Right. Uh, spin, uh, spin, uh, spin it, uh, yeah. spin it again. Quick, the pressure is too much. Summer now, summer. Do you need a blowjob? Is this how hacking works? I mean, <laughs> yes. Suspend. Right, I guess I roll a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean Do you mean Alan or Black Eyes? Uh, no, no. no. Slide of hand. <laughs> 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 I would have thought investigation first. <laughs> Sorry, could you three actually turn your comms off before you go into this? That'd be great. <laughs> Did you say turn the comms up? Yes. No! Uh, ah! Gun. Uh, oh, it has gusto. It's an 18 for the blowjob. Oh, wow. Oh, the blocks are lined. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Downstairs, uh, 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 montage. (laughs) Uh, uh, Star wipe. Um, I'll be doing a bit of that later. (laughs) Get the Kleenex. (laughs) (laughs) Would you guys like some commentary? I can. I'm so glad that the kid, the nine-year-old, left. (laughs) So I was. Now, now we can really let our hair down. (laughs) As long as you're watching, Louise. That's fine. That's enough. (laughs) Uh, So yeah. So downstairs, uh, you. Uh, approach the uh, the large sphinx statue that's just outside the reading room, and uh, to one uh, side there is the uh, the security door to the vault. Wow! 
I let Flo out of my trench coat. <laughs> Flo just sort of tumbles onto the floor, and <laughs> bumps into the Sphinx, and it sort of wobbles a little bit. Yeah, Wilbur runs over and catches her before like a Rube Goldberg effect of yeah. <laughs> all the sphinxes knock over in a large circle. I'm not a rogue. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> I'm really, really not. And I'm... So this is all on you. <laughs> Snatches over at the door with the key card and he's going, hey, hey, jumping up and down, just trying to reach the... Get... Wilbur you... walks over, takes the key card, but then aims way too high. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. I said, not a rogue. You apparently are doing an amazing job. <laughs> I drop really the key card and it just happens to swipe through the thing. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. And the door, uh, magically, but as if by a wizard, <gasps> slides open. <sighs> Automatic <sighs> doors. Fucking Door messy. open. Uh, and Thank you, door. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Uh, ha- how are you? I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm sorry, door. No one ever opens me. Oh, well, we have... Good. Do you want to know a joke? Yes, please. What did the Sphinx say to the crocodile? Uh, I I don't know, Dor. What did the Sphinx say to the crocodile? I'm so lonely. Ah. Okay. A cracker, Dor. Thank you. I I mean, I would have thought you'd go for a knock-knock joke, but anyway. Do you have a knock-knock joke for me? It's an automatic door. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what need... knock-knock means. Slide, slide, who's there? Doesn't matter, door's open. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I press the close button. <laughs> Quickie, guys, get inside. Get inside. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, Door is sad. <laughs> You've set up some incredible puzzles in this one. It's been, it's been hard to get past this door. I know. I'm like, oh, we're already running what over time. Guys, and uh, fucking now we're getting into a door later. conversation. Uh, we're, we're catching up with the big window uh, outside, probably, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, so you're part of the cool gang of the New Zealand. Oh, oh, is the window popular? Is the window in the popular clique? The window is such a bully to me. Oh, no. Oh. Door. You know uh, what, Door? What? How about we avenge you during our mission? You know what? I reckon... I reckon we might be able to show that window who's boss. I reckon that might align with our particular interests of what we're up to you today. You would do that for me, Door? Just just for you, Dor. I swear. I get. Uh, I kneel down. I swear. I swear on the life of thievery that I have let myself do that I will avenge you, Dor. Dor is happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so. Oh. So Greg came up to me during the break and he was like, "Oh, I'm worried if I'm like sidetracking this a little bit too much." You're good, bro. Thanks, man. You're Thanks. good. Thanks. You're good. Real good. It's fine. Uh, yes, the automatic door slides open and you walk through it into a corridor that is filled with red laser beams. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, uh, oh, the lasers are beatboxing. Uh, I- He's Hi there, this. I'm like, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so in front Laser of... Laser is lonely. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we can't avenge all of you. <laughs> No, we hate the Quickly, if door. only someone could kill the lasers. Oh. Oh, um, I stick my finger in my ear and go, uh, oh, wait, wrong ear. Uh, come in, Jim, you guys upstairs, because you. What are you doing? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 I've almost got it. Oh, I, think, I think the other team's underwater. No, <laughs> no, no. no that... Shit. <laughs> oh. And so. Ears come. <laughs> I can report. Oh, oh that is a lot. Oh, oh, oh it's God. all over the keyboard. Oh. oh, I don't think the computer will work do anymore. <laughs> so do I get do I get advantage now? Oh uh, no! No, you're you're no, you're, no, no, you're quite distracted <laughs> and relaxed <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's it's wasn't, wasn't the water; it was the vinegar strokes. <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you rolled a ten. I did. Great. Um, as you're trying to frantically uh, hack into the computer while Bracco has given you a copy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the audience did come for a happy ending, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> they did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> e- even I didn't like that. To be honest. <laughs> It's for the good of the party. Uh, Alan did though. Yeah, I'm up fine. I just want to hear what the animated keyboard has to say. Uh, yes. So <laughs> your keyboard so is sticky. happy. <laughs> no, no, the yes. keyboard. You start. You start trying to hack in, but you're you're too distracted, and um, and you mess up on the final keystroke. I sure just, do. Just, and the key- just and the, as you come. Um, <laughs> and the keyboard says, "Not again." No. <laughs> oh. And then your uh, ectoplasm goes everywhere and gets all inside the keyboard and it gets all sticky oh. and then it starts to short circuit oh. and sparks start to fly from the uh, crystal matrix. It wasn't expecting <laughs> its one true weakness. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? Brackeye sees, sees the power of the jism and starts to, to fountain all over the rest of the crystals. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. Should I I roll, should so I roll? can we go back to the door? Oh. <laughs> you never thought you'd want to come back to I that, did you? I never wanted to go back to another I door. Kn- I know I'm not supposed to look at this, but I can see that it says weakness to come in your notes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Why is it in we the finish header? each other's... <laughs> Hacking. <laughs> orgasms, that's yeah. right. We finish I just, each other's I just orgasms. write my own diary notes in here. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about cum again. Yeah. Uh, so yes, as you stand in the goddamn corridor, um, the laser beams that stand before you start to uh, spark and uh, sputter and then uh, they... <laughs> They're down. Yes. Wow. And How at lucky. The, at the end of the corridor, there is... A glass cabinet with the golden ank inside. Can I do a, a, a an investigation check to check if there aren't any more traps on the way towards this glass cabinet? Sure. Nice. Yeah, Excellent. I mean, I was going to do that too. <laughs> Nat one. Uh, oh, why you? That's not a roll. You can't roll into that little thing. All right, you're right. Hang I'll, on, I'll, hang I'll, on. I'll hang roll on. into the shoebox lid you've provided me with. <laughs> My apologies, you're right. I should use some class here. <laughs> hey, that's a dice paper roll official shoebox lead, I'll have you know. Well, thank God. Nat five. <laughs> now that's some class. Uh, yeah, you start to approach your uh, kind of, yes, very high knees, tiptoes, uh, hands, kind of Mr. burns in it. Yeah. Um, in front. Uh, you, you don't see any other traps. Fantastic. I, I sprint towards the cabinet. Oh, dear. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> With no dramas. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm riding on his shoulders back in the trench coat. The right way around now. <laughs> well, wait, no, 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 wait. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry to pull you up. Canically, I believe uh, Flo. No, no, is she's gone. We, we we figured that out. Oh, yeah. we star wiped yeah, and we screen. changed in the middle without oh, telling yeah, you. Cool. Yeah, right, yeah, cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. You don't listen. <laughs> 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 you do. Great job. <laughs> Um, Flo, Flo is, uh, is letting the rogues deal with it and is just kind of like has been absolutely caught in a conversation with the door right? just at, like at a party and someone just keeps kind of going at you and just kind of her arms are folded and like the mall is kind of just sitting there on the side she's like mm-hmm yeah mm-hmm yeah mm-hmm would yeah. we say the door's a little unhinged yeah. or yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's a sliding fucking door <laughs> so, so I'm hearing a yes uh, no one no, goddamn it- listen no, it's clearly off the rails. Uh, hey, uh, there we go. At least his motives are transparent, you know. It's... Gwyneth Paltrow. There's a sliding doors reference. I was with you. I was with you. <laughs> Someone started clapping at the back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Good. Nope. Good um, to see you all. Uh, Wilbur, Wilbur and Scratch, we, uh, and Snatch, thank you. Hey, I'll Wilbur. be Scratch if you want me to be. Uh, Wilbur and Snatch, we kind of head over and do like the friend at a party thing. Like, oh, Flo, sorry, we actually... Oh, I better, I better just... I've, I've just got, uh, yeah, oh, did we, we break you out of a conversation? Yeah, no, oh, no, I'm no, so no, sorry. No, 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 oh, we're fine. Oh. I just, we just gotta, I've just gotta, get, I've just gotta, go, I've just gotta, I've just gotta fucking get out of here. Sorry. Right, right, right. We will avenge you, Tor! Thank you, bye! <laughs> 
To the cabinet. To the cabinet. We're at to the, the cabinet. cabinet. You're at the cabinet. We made it to the cabinet. We're Let's the cabinet. open the cabinet and get that fucking orc. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the ink, there's a little tiny miniature. Yeah. And on the other side, there's an arc. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right underneath the oak. <laughs> now I know why they got it wrong at the other end. <laughs> Sounds the same. Uh, F. Flo puts, her, Flo puts her finger to the ears, like, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because. <laughs> It's working, <laughs> and we've got to get the egg. So whatever you do, whatever don't the, whatever stop. the party needs. All right. Uh, oh is there any type of locking mechanism on the? <laughs> <laughs> Brackeye, your tattoos start to glow inexplicably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brackeye's tramp stamp starts to really glow. <laughs> Danny, I pick up the, my dagger and I use the hilt of it to smash that cabinet open. Fantastic. Roll a, a hit or something. Oh, really? Do something, please. God's sake. Ten. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, you, you take the hilt of um, your dagger and you smash it uh, like one of those little hammer things that are on the buses to break the window. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. Andy. Yeah, yeah, the little pointed, uh, yeah, yeah. the little hammer with a pointed oh. tail. Am well, I I'm... not painting a beautiful that's, that's... image for you all? Nice. Real um, word picture. We really want a like... word picture. Uh, yes, you smash the glass, uh, freeing the ink as the laser beams start to sputter. Oh and no! And uh, some of them start to kick back in, but not all of them. So. Oh, the computer is back on. Um... <laughs> Quick, Alan! <laughs> 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 Alan skulls a glass of orange juice. <laughs> Bra- Ready to go again. Bra- <laughs> we. Brackeye Bra- Bra- rolls a pea spot check. That's the <laughs> prostate, by the way. Um, <laughs> just in case, I uh, thought I'd get a bit of extra juice. <laughs> five, it's a five. Jesus. <laughs> he starts using yeah. his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we grab all of the things that sound like ank and we run down the hallway. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we Because we can see those lasers getting thicker and faster. And, yeah. uh, Jokes on you guys. I'm into that shit. Let's do this. <laughs> um, we are... Uh, 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 like, uh, the lasers are sort of flashing and moving in, in some sort of synchronicity. Like there's something that we're supposed to be doing in, in sync that will actually get us out of the laser beams. So we begin the very well rehearsed dance <laughs> that we did uh, for two days beforehand. And Correct. lo and behold, the dance is exactly timed to the laser beams. And it looks exactly like a halftime show at the Super Bowl. <laughs> We say, lasers, give us a beat. (laughs) Now now they're actually beatboxing. Yeah. (laughs) I I figured, fuck it, why not flex? (laughs) (laughs) I've got a fucking show to sell tonight. I I need some fucking people there. Do you have any other skills you'd like to work into the game while we're here? No, everything else is visual based. I don't, I don't, I don't think pop locking is going to come up great on the podcast. <laughs> You'll have to see my show. Yeah. 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 We'll just do it via like a cut in, and, and, and now Patrick is uh, doing a pop and lock. Uh, Some good extension on the Jack. elbow there. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just rolled a nat 20 on my uh, pop lock check. I didn't roll, but every time I pop lock, it's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> And do we make it through the lasers? Uh, well, you're going to have to roll a die Fuck. to fucking, uh, to see how well you perform. 12. 12. 14. 14. 1. Uh, you're on my shoulders. You're on my shoulders. We're all on my shoulders. 12. Half legs. See, and that's why it's fucking bullshit. Snitch, snitch, snitch. Uh, one and then went to a 20? I am <laughs> lucky, so... Um, it's bullshit! <laughs> Maybe the dice have somewhere else to be after this, Dan. Look, I don't know. Dan... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, am I dragging this out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon we could probably do another 20 minutes of door material. Yeah, okay, cool. I should check uh, in. How um, are you, door? <laughs> back over to this side of the... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's either door chat or blowjob chat. Which do you want? I know. I'm just, just either way, rock it a hard place. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Um, I think I like the hard Door place. is rock, a -Lan is hard place. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Brack eye is door, I guess. Open wide. Yes. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. You do your synchronised uh, dance that you have prepared for two whole days. Uh, and it just so it happens... It has pop and lock in it. Yeah. Whoa. Laser beams are like shooting, uh, sputtering in and out and it, you're just like popping and locking along it and it got going along and then... Wow, he's a laser beam Big boxing, wow. Yeah. He's a laser beam laser. <laughs> And yeah, it's like laser beams are shooting in between the little holes that you're making in your, with your body and stuff. Pull and you're, the shapes. All Woo. super cool. Um, you're going to do a YouTube video afterwards. It'll be great. Please like and like subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, Smash that uh, bell. <laughs> great for TikTok. Great for TikTok. <laughs> uh, and you make your way out of the corridor in back into the gala with Ank in hand. What do you want to do as... That's the alarm going on. Ah. Oh, it's just a rager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I think you've had a pretty good party. Hey, <laughs> Lance staggers out of the security booth. Your hair's all messed up. It's all kind of Cheeks my... hollow, dehydrated. Just, <laughs> just so thirsty. Oh, <laughs> Scott. Oh, Scatter I didn't realise that you were coming to. <laughs> you were coming to the gala. Louise looks to the chair next to where Alan was sitting and just. Oh. <laughs> so oh good, well. good sign or a bad sign? It would have been nice if. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> we go back into the security room. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Uh, I will save that for later. Does she, does she quickly jump on the keyboard and just chuck an ad on Craigslist, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> I jump on the comms going like... Uh, Dear I, Craig... I, <laughs> I am looking for pleasure and intimacy. The Y got stuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Pops back up. Please, could I have a good time? Single cloaca. Uh, <laughs> Six other. <laughs> Uh, the joke from the front row is a Sticky Keys reference right there, is what we just got. So. Thank you, thank you. Yep. <laughs> that, that's the joke coming. Yep. Oh, that's yours! <laughs> Never mind, I repeated a joke from the audience who was repeating a joke from you that I didn't hear from you. I didn't hear it either, sorry. <laughs> thank you for repeating it front row. <laughs> Um, I Louise the... doesn't know you where... Finish, to... You finish your ad to Craig's list. Yeah, mm. and um, Craig immediately responds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, continue. We'll sort it out in a side quest. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for a late night game. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put it on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, uh, if that's what boosts our sales, yeah. If, yeah. if that's what boosts our subscribers, <laughs> I'm all for it. We're trying anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wilbur jumps on the comms, going like, uh, "We've got the Ank, as well as the um, uh, the Oak, the Ark, the Hank, and the um, Bank, uh, and the Bank, um, uh, Crank." So we we probably need to head up to the evacuation point, which now that the alarm's going off is. Probably, probably going to be that Chekhov's window that we saw earlier. Yeah. Uh, that sounds good. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, you got the rope. <laughs> rope. Oh. The you know. Rope. You know. Yep. Funnily enough, I do. Wilbur oh. reaches behind and pulls out a bag of holding and reaches inside <laughs> and finds inside a perfect length of rope for exactly what they require. Thank Aww. you for telling me that I had that in the Facebook Messenger. No, uh, right. <laughs> it could have, it may have come in handy earlier, but it's coming in right now. When? Yeah. When? It, we true. solved every puzzle flawlessly. <laughs> what do you the want from us, The door, the, the beatboxing lasers. What else could we have done to get past them? A bit of S&M. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's the power of imagination. <laughs> The perfect heist. I mean, you offered hacking, and then we went, yeah, cool, blowjob. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. So, <laughs> only way through. Yeah. Blotion's 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. So, you. Uh, 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 
Uh, you have the... Uh, edit point, that's the name of the episode. Uh, if anyone ever tells you that that joke isn't perfect, that's anxiety. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Dora is happy. Wilbur, Wilbur pulls out the exact perfect length of rope. Hey, he maybe t- tie this to it. Here, I hand you the ank. Wait, wait. It looks pretty yeah. heavy. Hang on. What? If we tie this rope to this ank, yep. we might be able to use the ank as a grappling hook to get us out through that tunnel. Not as an yeah. anchor? That's... Yeah. An um, anchor? Yeah. An a, anchor. I'm sorry. A grankling hook. I'm sorry, we're going... <laughs> hey, look, as... as look, a grankling I, hank. <laughs> sure. A grankling hook. I yeah. think we've got a new grankling title for the episode. Yeah. Grankling hook. Grankling. <laughs> Let me be very clear. I appreciate a pun just as much as the next D&D player, but we're going up. We're not trying to store a fucking ship in the place that it's been. <laughs> so no, it's not an anchor. It's a grappling hook is what we're using it for. Yeah, right, okay. I apologize. Grank, grankling. I am the greatest thief of all time. You're not going to question what I named my tools? I remember now. (laughs) All right. Uh, Oh, great, Wilbur, please get us out of this mess. We need to exit through the roof. You need to throw it up there. Go on. The alarms of all the crowd is starting to look a little bit suspicious. I I swing the rope and attempt to to throw it up through the window. (laughs) <laughs> Brackeye, um, Brackeye, Brackeye takes the very little hammer next to the glass case that says fire alarm and goes, this will confuse him, and taps through with a little hammer and pushes the button, and now there are two alarms going off at once. <laughs> oh. It only goes for a second, though. It's That's all, up, folks. <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, if we could get to the fucking end of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so Wilbur uh, actually takes the ankh, suddenly rethinking the swinging method, pulls out his own crossbow, attaches the ankh to the actual... Uh, ah, nice. thank you. To the bolt on the thing, points it up at the roof and fires. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. 13. That is definitely good enough. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Ow, I'm window. That really hurts. Fuck you! Piece of shit! Aww. I just called Dora Slag, said she was. Nah, it's alright. Hey, we I, can... I shoot. I, I attach the oak to the, the <laughs> tiny oak to the grappling hook, just shoot another part of the window. Yeah. No, <laughs> and then my as, weakness! As we climb up, as I shut up window, we can see right through you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm in pain. No. Good. Yeah, yeah you, I've been ruling the roost here for a long time. <laughs> now I'm in pieces, so... <laughs> kind of feeling shattered, to be honest with you. Yeah. We climb up the rope. Yeah, you climb up the Let's rope. Up the you rope. fire it. And it sails through the air. The, uh, the, the uh, coil of rope that's uh, on the ground starts to... Sp- <laughs> up. And it sails through the window, breaking the pain, and it goes, ow! And uh, it, the ank... I feel like you're an- denigrating my uh, involvement here. <laughs> thought I did a bit more than that, but okay, carry on, yep. Denigrating, expediating. Um, it, uh, it, the ank hooks onto the windowsill, the edge of one of the windows, and it hooks on, and you start to climb very... Very inconspicuously. <laughs> it's all part of the, of the show, room. folks. And um, <laughs> and Flo just kind of dances over to the rope and then just starts to shimmy up it and just kind of does that sort of like a, like a circus kind of tissue work and starts to whirl oh. the, the rope around, oh. like sort of extending her arms like sort of delicately and then she kind of does like an upside downy thing. She holds the rope in between her th- thick thighs and <laughs> and, sort like of, and sort of like sort of swan lakes out um, and and sort of makes the whole thing look like a very delicate um, uh, trapeze act. It's genius. She's moving her body in time with the alarms. It's amazing. <laughs> woo, 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 she goes. Um, amazing. I'm not even going to make you roll a dice because we don't have time. Um, yes, you, you do that. It, it, uh, the the guards are mem- mesmerised and like, oh 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 yeah no they, they are performers yeah they, uh, oh there you go I thought they were just taking the Mickey out of me yeah, but me turns too. out no me too Michelle <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Ah. Hello, G- Jeremiah. Uh, hello, it's me. Is that hello. Jeremiah Irons? Oh. <laughs> Jeremiah Irons. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And oh, no, we, sorry. We, this is Michael Caine. Uh, we, I would like to say thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Caine is giving, the, is giving the inauguration opening speech yeah, at the gala. Yeah, cutting the ribbon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the door. We flee across the rooftops as, as the you, Michael Caines talk to each other. As Michael... <laughs> as, as, as Michelle... Michelle Caine and Michael Caine <laughs> <Hey, Michael. laughs> start, start conversing. <laughs> And then Senator McCain rocked up, and it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantasy, Terry. It's a museum. Yeah. I'm a Goliath. <laughs> yeah, Who's it's a wax Dead. We draw the uh, line there. You make your way up the rope and onto the roof, making your escape with the golden ank in hand, and you make your way back to the land of fantasy name generator, to Jim. <laughs> Jim the mummy. And he thanks you for bringing back the you uh, are welcome. sacred ank. You are welcome. No worries, Tim. Welcome. Our <laughs> Tim, 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 just, just a quick question though. But like, what do you use the ank for? Yes. It's, uh... We've gone through all this trouble. We made a very complicated dance routine. It was a grappling uh, hook. We risked our lives. We made a new friend. And I came with. <laughs> We've travelled for so far just so we could find out what you use the ank for. So tell us. <laughs> uh, yes, let me look at my notes. Pressure's on. <laughs> um... Well, you see, the thing is, is as I said in my opening monologue... <laughs> Which we forgot, much like your name. It's the key of life. Oh. So, you see, the thing is, is I'm, I'm a mummy. You oh, know, I'm dead. Grass. I'm dead, but I'm, very dead. I'm alive. Without it, What's yes. up with that? That's weird. Why? Right? How does that happen? With a golden ink. So no, none of us agree. Bring shit back to life. There was going to be a whole Senator night at the McCain museum. <laughs> There was going to be a night at the museum type thing at the museum, but um, we did a blowjob scene instead. <laughs> so what we wanted, <laughs> right? It's yes. Um, it's what they it's wanted. It's not the hero you wanted, <laughs> but the hero you need. <laughs> Some people just want to have blowjobs. Um, that's the end of the show. Yeah. So it's how about a big round of applause for Dan Last, our dungeon master. And a big round of applause for special guest Patrick Collins. Yeah. Tell us about your show, Patrick. Oh, yes, uh, you can catch my show. It's called I'm Not a Mime. It's on tonight and tomorrow. That's it. The last two nights on 8.30 at the Butterfly Club. Grab your tickets and come and see it. And oh, have, you got a, great. have you got a recommendation that you could give to people as well? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, absolutely. Go and see um, uh, both the Trades Hall, Oliver Coleman and Jacqueline Mifsud. Go check them out. They're both yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Both amazing. amazing. If you're looking to continue the lols, get your butts over. There. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're doing another show in June, July and August. We're going to the first weekend of every month at Comedy Republic. So, yeah. if you want to we come see us, bitches. do a whole bunch of this again. Tickets are on sale for the first show in June. Yeah, right now on our website you can get all those tickets. All that, and also we've got merch at the back, so please go and do that. But otherwise, a round of applause for yourselves. A round of applause for all the staff here at Motley. Thank you, Motley. Thank you, Motley. And a round of applause.